Mike, thanks for coming out to the clinic. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to start off here with the underwater. Remember, keep the head down right there on the pull out all the way to your up right before you break the surface. Watch the hands there. See how you're reaching out front and you're scooping the, the pinkies up and catching air there. Make sure that you're reaching, coming down and get the elbows up to the hands down, pull back and then accelerate the hands under, bring the elbows together underneath you and then drive them forward. Another thing to do, watch the, watch the pull. Keep the head down. See, so bringing the head up a little bit early there. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure you drive that head forward when you're extending. You're kind of putting your face in the water, looking at the other end, then driving it down. As you lift up, drive that head down as you're extending the arms forward, not after you extend the arms forward. The other thing, see you're swimming a little bit uphill. As you extend forward, try to tilt those hips up a little bit and, and finish that kick out. The other thing is your, your feet are, you need to turn your feet out and flatten them up a little bit more when you kick. Now your freestyle here, see how that you're, you're really bending your elbow and dropping your elbow? You can almost stop the video and you can see how the elbow is way ahead of the hands. Uh, so you're not holding the water there. And on that right arm, see how the, you're going right in and you're pulling right away? What's happening is your pull is ahead of your body rotation. So you're not using any of the body rotation to do the pull. Look how much you how, how bent those hands are. Keep your wrist stiff. Don't let your wrist move when you pull. You're really breaking your wrist and bring the hands under the water, and you don't you're not getting any power out of the pull. So you're pulling way too soon on both arms, and you're dropping the elbow, bending the wrist, and bending the the elbow for that uh, pull. So real important that you keep those wrists real real straight. Again, here you see how those. See how the pinky's going up, grabbing some bubbles and bringing it down. A little bit better there. Try to be lower. Look at the feet here. Look at the angle of the feet. You want those feet to almost be flat. Or in other words, pushing the water straight back and they're kind of pushing it up a little bit. So make sure you try to try to flatten that out a little bit and get a little bit of an up kick at the end of your at the end of your uh, at the end of your kick. Drive forward more, drive the head down forward, drive the hips up. So right. There, you want to be driving the hips up so you get almost rolling over your hips. So you're rolling a little bit downhill. All right, real important that you do that. Kick, the speed of the kick looks pretty good. Here's your freestyle. See the uh, high elbows, see how you sort of, your head's moving around a little bit, body's sort of wiggling down the pool. You're, you're moving from side to side. Uh, so the hips are kind of swaying back and forth there, and the arms are kind of coming around. And see how low the see how low the shoulders are when you're doing your pull. You ought to be seeing those shoulders while you're pulling, not not burying them underwater. See so right here, want to drive that uh, drive that head forward, really extend right there, extend forward, get that head going, come up, drive the head forward, bring the shoulders up a little bit, and uh, hips up. See how the, you you sort of humped your back there when you came up, stay down. Uh, you don't want to have this, the, the back come up on the pullout before your head comes up. All right. Well, I hope those things help, and I wish you the best.